Hey guys, and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope all are doing well. This past month, I have been doing Mad Fits January workout plan, and this is how it went. So let's get right on in to this video. Okay guys, so day one, here we go. 15 minutes. Upper body was the first one. Um, I previously did this workout that week on Monday actually, so I already knew kind of what was happening. It burned, but not too much. I felt like it really helped with my upper body strength. Now the latch song workout, this was tough. It was only three minutes, but it definitely got a really good burn in. You were moving your arms constantly and it just, it hurt. Okay guys, it's day two of the workout plan. I'm about to do the warm up. I'm gonna be doing the same warm up for every day. So it's a 10 minute warm up. Okay, so there's two workouts today. The two on abs and booty and then full body fat burning hit. So let's get right to it. Okay guys, it's now Sunday and I'm about to do a workout. I usually don't work out on Sunday. I leave it for rest. So I'm not too thrilled about it, but I'm gonna do it because I am committed. But today is a yoga, so it shouldn't be too difficult. And I'm gonna warm up and then I'm going to do this. Day three, the 20 minute stretching yoga. So yoga really isn't my favorite, but it was really nice. Just take it easy, stretch out my muscles and just kind of de-stress. Then for some reason, my mouth was open the whole time. Like you can just see I was yawning the whole time. My mouth was just open. It was so strange. Now the 30 minute full body. This workout hurt. Kept me working till the very last second. I was pouring sweat. Sorry if that's TMI, but it was burning. And I was just so like kind of in pain, but it was a good in pain. Like, yeah, it was a good in pain. That's tough. Day five, the booty and cardio. 10 minute cardio. I really, really, really wish I had a booty band to go along with this because it was just, it was good and it made me sweat and everything, but I just needed that extra resistance to really feel like I could work more. And then the 20 minute dance for legs really burned my legs and it hurt so badly, but I loved it. Then day six, the two 20 minute workout. I really enjoyed getting a long workout in. So if my workout was about an hour long. Now the abs killed me. It was right after doing that high intensity one. The abs hurt so bad. I was grunting. My face was mad the whole time. It was so painful, but it felt good because my abs were sore the next day. And so that means there's progress going. And then the, the high intensity interval training was really sweaty, was hard too, but got a good cardio in and I enjoyed that. Uh, day seven, the uh, dance wild card. Oh, that was so fun. I love doing this. So I did the TikTok hits too some older songs i no longer have tiktok but i used to and um it felt good to dance and get a cardio in that way and get a workout because like you do squats in it and you do lunges in it and so you're still getting that workout in but just a little bit more entertaining and good cardio and then i did the super lonely uh, ab workout so it was like really really fast doing doing this doing this in the last minute i was struggling i did not think that workout would be that hard Oh. The 10 minute upper body sculpt, it wasn't too intense, but it was a really nice way to like sculpt my upper body and to really just feel stronger. It was a nice break from like tough workouts and longer workouts. The This is what you came for dance workout was a four minute really fast arm burnout. It hurt really badly, but it kept me pushing and it was nice kind of wind down and really get those arms a last chance to really work out for the day. Okay guys, let's talk real quick. So tomorrow on Saturday, I sadly won't be working out. And I know I said I was committed to this workout and I'm not stopping, I'm just taking a one day break. Because this is my first time ever doing really long workouts. Probably the longest I've ever done a workout before this was 20 minutes. So doing like 30 minutes to an hour workout is really, really different to me. But I love it because it's new, something new to me and something that's really helpful to me. I've never really worked out this consistently. I've probably worked out five days and not on the weekends. And then working out seven days, it's really different and like such like a 
all of a sudden change to my body. I've been realizing after my workouts of an evening, I don't feel good. I, can, I feel like I'm about to throw up. I never do, like knock on wood. I never do throw up, but then my muscles feel really, really weak, and um, sometimes my knees start to shake really badly, and I think tomorrow I just need a day's break, and I can get back on it, and hopefully just conquer through this workout. So I think taking a one-day break will be so much better than having to like miss out a whole week because I pushed myself too hard. I'm gonna take a day's break, but I'm gonna do today's workout, so. And then day 10, the beginner flexibility routine, it was a nice stretch still uh yoga is not my favorite i really don't like it because i like being drenched with sweat and really being pushing but i know you need rest so it's a good time just to kind of relax and just take it easy so day 11 the 30 minute full upper body sculpt different type of workout because the warm-up the actual workout and the cool down is on there instead of having 30 minutes of working out and then like 10 minutes of cool down or whatever so it was very tough but efficient and the weight added a nice touch to it and I really love this workout and definitely probably do it again okay day 12 the two leg workouts really got my legs burning like I say on every single leg workout the dancer thighs workout was really targeting especially for my inner thighs and then the other one hurt really, really badly. And I have previously done that workout. So doing those lunge lift things were absolute death. It hurt so bad. And then day 13, I really love the new video. And I just really love her workouts. And this video just showed how much I love her workout. She's so positive. She's so nice. She's just like your fit best friend who's keeping you accountable. And I just love her workouts and how they are structured and how much effort Madison puts into her video. Day 14, the dance. So I did the Evermore by Taylor Swift dance party. I have not listened to this album, but I've been meaning to. And she picked the best songs from this album, I think. They are so good. It made me feel so happy. And it made me feel so like this like a dancer so graceful it put me in such a good mood and i just loved it and then the wonder by sean mendez dance i have never heard this song before but it's a really good song and the dance moves went perfectly with the song it was just a lot of fun i love these dance workouts with my whole entire heart the weekend so over the week sadly over the course of friday through sunday i was under able to work out because I had gotten a cold. This was super unfortunate and I was so disappointed that I already missed one day last week and I was going to miss a few more. I really, really did think about, I would have scrapped this video because who's going to want to watch a girl just give up? But no, I was not because life doesn't go perfect with your plan and things aren't going to work out always the way you want it to and you just gotta go with it and i need to show that to the internet that my life's not perfect no one's life's perfect and i just needed to rest god had a plan for me and so i went with the plan and the days i took off this workout yeah they're disappointing but they helped everything you do helps and it just told me to listen to my body and take care of myself but i was so glad so glad to be back on my bed day 18 the 30 minute full body hit i was so so glad to be back back working out back on that workout grind this workout i loved doing it three times really focusing on my form and getting stronger okay now it's the next day and i want to start just talking about different things and not just talking about how the workouts made me feel so for the next few days we'll be just be talking and things like that so um, talking about motivation for working out, uh, about a year ago I started working out. So about a year ago I started working out more consistently like every day or every other day and it's truly life changing. Um, I just started out small doing 8 minute workouts then moving up to 15, 20 and then I finally made the big adjustment to like 40 minute workout to an hour workout and it's just been really life changing how good it makes me feel to work out how happy i feel afterwards and how productive i am and just getting it's hard to get motivation for a workout but once you just do that one jumping jack then it's so life-changing and finding the right 
workouts that work for you. Like, I love Mad Fit. Her workouts just do what they need to do to motivate me. She motivates me. And this plan has really helped in my fitness journey. So, as you know, I had to take a couple breaks during this workout plan. And it made me sad. But you gotta know what works best for you. And yes, it's really, really good to push yourself. It's really good to just keep going. But you gotta listen to your body. I've said this, said this multiple times. Listen to your body. But I truly mean it. If your body's saying, don't work out anymore, bro. Don't work out anymore, bro. Because you want to prevent injury and you don't want to um, make matters get worse. And it's good to find a healthy balance of working out. If you really want to work out and you just feel like you can't do it for 45 minutes, start small. Do 10. Then maybe in a month, do 20. Or in a week, do 20. And just build up to working out. And maybe working out's not what you want to do. There's other ways of working out. You can join a sport, you can run, you can do whatever. And just find an exercise if you want to exercise that works for you. Find something that you want to do that's safe, that it will work well with your schedule. And just find that happy balance. And now the day 21, the dance party workout. So I love these so much, okay. So as you know, I love doing the dance party workouts and they make me so happy. And that's my tip to you, is to find workouts that make you happy. Do at least one or two workouts that you really enjoy. If you really enjoy ab workouts, do some ab workouts. If you really enjoy walking, walk. If you enjoy the cardio workouts, do it. It's good to do workouts that you're not a big fan of because it still helps, but it's good to have that little encouragement for the week done. If I get through this tough workout tomorrow, I can have the best workout and the most fun tomorrow. And I noticed as I went through the plan, the less harder the workouts were to me, and I did not struggle as badly. And that's just great progress. I've made so much progress during this plan. And it's amazing, not just physically with getting abs and getting muscles, but also mentally in knowing the importance of working out and how happy it's made me feel and having a good routine like that. Day 23 was a super intense workout and I really loved it. I love burning workouts. I love those workouts where you're just drenched in sweat and you're just so tired, but yet you keep going. Those are my favorite. Four. So, as y'all know, I'm not a big fan of yoga. I've said this all the weekdays. I've done yoga or, like, stretching, and I decided to spice it up. And I did it with my best friend, Molly. And I'm just going to let the video speak for itself. great start of the week i highly 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 recommend doing a workout that's super intense on the first day of the week so you're in that productive mindset of like yes my workouts are going to be so good i feel so good and i'm going to be sore the next day which is amazing i love being sore i don't know about y'all but i do even though i complain about it secretly i love being sore this month has been amazing i have enjoyed every single second of it and this has just taught me to keep working and not only keep working out but keep working in general uh on the days that i didn't go into school i had a solid morning routine of waking up really early reading my bible getting a workout in and then getting to work for the rest of the day and it just set me in such a productive tone and mood encouraged me to work out Squats. Okay guys, the last few days of the, of the plan are here. They were amazing. Uh, all these workouts, every single day, were very tough. We're very working and just very, very tough. Um, I enjoyed all the workouts. I enjoyed the different um, variations of working out and how 
uh, what videos Madison combines with, and they definitely taught me what other videos, like what to combine videos with, and how to like make longer workouts, and keep pushing yourself. Um, I really like these plans, and of course, I love the dance party. Like always, loving that dance party workout. And I just love these workouts. I loved sweating and having a set routine in and out of school and just really working so hard and so good at just really becoming a better person and everything like that. Like I've said a lot, but I really enjoy how Madison's workouts will get where she says. It's sometimes um, other workouts, like if you do it on an app, Sometimes it will get like your arms instead of like your abs. Like I've had that happen to me before on a workout app, but Madison really gets where she needs to and she works around it too. And you do burn pretty much everything, but you especially burn like your arms if you're doing an arm workout. And I just look forward to all of her workouts and how happy she makes me and everything like that. I really enjoy all the workouts we did this plan and this week, especially. And I can't wait to see what's going on in the future. But this plan has been amazing. Just did the whole January plan. Okay guys, this plan is now over. I have enjoyed it so much, it's been so fun. So what are my thoughts on the workout plan? They were amazing. I loved this workout so much. Not only did it get good abs and good arms and good muscles and everything, it got me in a good, it got me in a good mood for my day. And when I did it in the morning, I just felt so productive and so ready to take on the day and just keep going. And I really enjoyed doing longer workouts and really getting a full workout in instead of just doing 20 minutes. You did like a full 40 minutes hour workout. It was awesome. Loved it so much. Madison did a awesome job when picking out these exercises for each day, planning them out very carefully, and she did an awesome job. I would recommend doing this plan, maybe if you don't want to do all 31 days because it's no longer January. Go into the description, pick a day that you feel like you want to do, and do it. I love this video and I hope you all enjoyed it seeing my face for like 31 days in this video and yeah it's gonna be weird not filming my workouts now. Without further ado I'm just gonna hop off so make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below any videos you all want to see and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!